So let's go ahead and talk just in words about what this problem is. We said that we have a goal, we said that we have rules, and we said that we have decisions. What is the goal of this math program, or of this situation here? Warren? To maximize Geppetto's weekly profit. Yep, maximize weekly profit. What kinds of rules do we have in this situation? Rules or constraints? Yep. We have a fixed number of finishing hours and carpentry hours. Okay. So we have subject to fixed <coughs> finishing hours and carpentry hours. Great. Any other rules that we have? Yep. How many we can send in the market? Okay, maximum demand. Yep. Any other? Um, the price and the materials. Are those rules or are those just pieces of information that were given? Well, it sounds like pieces of information we were given. Yeah, but that's definitely going to factor into the rules that we formulate. So, yep. Okay. Anything else? There's kind of a subtle one that we're missing. Can you sell fractional? Can you sell half a train? Mm, probably not. No, so we need to have an integer numbers, an integer number of trains, and can we sell a negative number of trains? Not. So we need to have non-negativity and integrality constraints. Can we buy some trains. Yeah. Can we get them on credit? <laughs> <laughs> Outside the scope of this problem, but probably. <laughs> okay. So these are what we would use to formulate our math model, and we're going to leave that to homework.